protests, I saw what was really going on under the surface. I would love to, to make this documentary to really bring in voices from various perspectives, American perspective, European perspective, on what they feel the other side represents and is like at the moment. Any country can be destroyed in a moment. Uh, we have seen that before. So I think that for Spain is very, very serious. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. I, 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 I would like to, to have another point of view, but I must be honest. I think that the, the problem is very serious. There is a constant denying of, of the distinctiveness of, of the culture, I think, the language. You know, saying that you speak Catalan because you, oh, you speak Spanish in Catalan. Why would you use Catalan? Just to bother people, just to be annoying, just to so this constant critic to to the to our own cultural language. It was life changing. I mean, just immersing yourself in a different culture, um, you know, seeing things that you don't see on a daily basis out here, especially like in the East Coast as well, where kind of very sheltered and experiencing the same things quite often. Um, but there, the lifestyle is just so different. I think the messages that are kind of portrayed to non-Europeans are very different than what was actually going on. universe put me there at that moment, at that time, for a reason, because when I got there I realized how heightened the political um, climate was. The Catalan government has declared this referendum unilaterally against the will of Spain's central government. If they get away with that, it is a direct challenge not only to Spain's national unity, but the unity of Europe as a whole. Are you prepared to go to jail for this? I prefer don't think about it. I believe in democracy. I prefer to be honest with my commitment, with, with my neighbours and with my government. But if it comes to it, will you go to jail? Well, mm, yes. Hoy estamos más cerca de la independencia que hace un mes. Y no solo por razones de calendario, no solo porque avanzamos en el calendario que teníamos fijado, sino porque a cada semana y a cada error hemos acumulado más fuerza social. strategies from the government to try to seduce, if, if we can use this word, uh, Catalan people, to integrate them in Spain, to say, hey, you have a distinct culture, fine, like we're, 
we totally accept it, we, we inhale, like we want to embrace it. No, it's, it's confrontation all the time. And I guess it's, it's, it's come to a point where people have said, okay, enough. One of the critiques that's been made to the independentists and, and that I agree with is that they, they haven't really explained what they, well, yeah, they said better country, better society, fair, the Denmark of Europe, of, of the south of Europe, but they haven't really you know, given all the guidelines and, and explained all the points, uh, what we, we would be doing like, realistically every day. And if it's realistic to attain independence, probably not in the short term, but I'm pretty sure that uh, it, it's going to end up sooner or later uh, in, a, in a referendum agreed by both sides because I don't think there's another way out. So like it or not, you're going to have up to 3 million people on the streets looking for that and, and, and demanding that and they are not going to disappear just by sitting on your desk and pretending that nothing happens which is what President Bajoy is doing. I, I don't think it, it can get much worse within the concept, the context that we live in. So why not try something different? We can always go back to what we had. Being there in the middle of history was the coolest thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Just seeing how passionate the locals were about becoming independent or not, um, you could sense it in the way that they were reacting and speaking to one another.